1964, he called some of us and said, Now, what are you going to do after finishing the college? <laughs> some job, sir. Job? No. Artists should not take up jobs. See, what has happened to me? You have taken up a job. And half the time I'm doing administration. I can't be doing my own work. And a lot of my good students have all faded away. So, it's, why don't you try this of extending our art to craft? We had a very good craft section in the college. It was called School of Arts and Crafts. So, he allowed us to go to any section anytime. It didn't matter, not for exam sake, but to learn, to know the medium. So, one needs to go to many sections later. He was very, very good at uh, uh, supporting that. So I learned there doing batik, I learned doing ceramics, in the past. Then he said, why don't you people try to extend your art to batik? Batik is very close to painting. We can do that. So we, we said we were, we were about 20, 22 feet per cent. So we all thought it's a good idea. So we said, uh, Lalit Kala Academy, State Lalit Kala Academy had a a facility, studio facility near the college. So we used to use that facility to do batiks. And after one, one and a half years we did, we had an exhibition of those works at the School of Arts gallery. It was almost a sellout. That gave us the idea that it is possible for us to make a living by extending it, our art to craft. Batik to the first point. And uh, so even if one worked for about one or two hours a day, it would make enough for our livelihood.